Welcome back to Bumblebee. Here are the top 10 unspeakable things found in ancient tombs, part two. Yeah, we opened a few more, found a few more dirty secrets. Let's do it. Kicking off the list at number 10, Alexander the Great's friend. Okay, we didn't find Alexander the Great, but we did find the tomb of somebody close to him. That's exciting. That means we're getting close. Back in 2012, over in Greece, archeologists discovered a tomb that of course dates back to the time of Alexander himself. Now this tomb, the Casa tomb, as they're referring to it as, is beautiful. It's full of scenes, these painted scenes of Greek mythology. Whoever was buried here got a mosaic. So they must've been pretty important. They got pillars to the whole shebang, it's gorgeous. So far they found five bodies, but research was halted due to Greece's financial crisis. So are there more? Probably. Can we find any soon? No, probably not. Probably not our priority at this point, but it's good to know we're close. Number nine, two person tombs. Alrighty, time to get cozy for this one. All around the world, there have only been a handful of two person tombs ever discovered. And they're exactly what they sound like. This is the only one in Poland. Back in 2015, archaeologists discovered this 2000 year old necropolis. This thing has been sitting there for centuries, just at peace. And then humans came along just to start poking around. There were around 120 tombs. They were all used from the first century to the third. They were used by pre worst people. Romans were running the show at this time. Among these tombs were two that stood out. Tombs that archaeologists referred to as princely, okay. Romans, princes, something's going on. We're close to something. pre worst culture and Kujawi were in fact Celtic, so their burial process was Celtic as well. It's a little odd. A Stone Age Celtic necropolis in Poland. This truly is a rare find. Sharing a tomb. That's OG. That's like stuff out of the notebook right there. That's romantic. Two people sharing one tomb. Or it's just a great deal. One of the two. Number eight, the sitting man. Okay, of all the tombs to find, this one would scare, this would scare me out of a job. I would never do this again. I would never explore any tomb again if I saw this. Back in 2005, researchers found a Mayan tomb in Honduras from the fifth century, and the body was sitting up. It was on a stool, sitting up. Again, if I walked in and saw this, I would sign out. I would be like, okay, that's my two week notice officially. See you later, Bob. See you later, Mike. It's good knowing you guys. Whoever was the first person to look and see that, very brave. This man was an elite member of the Mayan Empire. He passed away around 650 AD, so a little while ago. Guy gets propped up in a chair, that's awesome. His legs were crossed, which at the time was quite odd, and he was rocking jade jewelry. The tomb was upright. Now, it's a common fear to be buried alive. I'm definitely one of them. I don't wanna be buried at all because, you know, wanna make sure, obviously. But in this case, you'd have plenty of room, so I don't know, God forbid but you'd be okay. These types of tombs are quite rare, but the fact that this one also has somebody sitting cross-legged, that's double rares. Two rares right there, double the rares. Number seven, romance. Okay, time to get serious for all the romantics out there. More often than not, when we see depictions of love from 4,000 year old tombs in Saqqara, we don't see the couples looking into each other's eyes or anything. We don't see them swiping right on Tinder. These hieroglyphs never had such a connection until this discovery. Usually they're facing the same direction, but this time these lovebirds couldn't take their eyes off each other. So who were they? On the left there, we have the handsome Kahai, a singer next to the lovely priestess Meritidas. In that tomb, of course, lies said couple, but as well as their whole family afterwards, all the way to their grandkids. So they used this tomb for quite a while throughout the family. How lovely is that? Number six, the terracotta army. And immediately onto something not so lovely, okay. We're covering all the tombs this week, so of course, in a part two, we have to mention the Terracotta Army. The tomb of the Emperor Qi Shi Hang, aka China's first emperor. In this tomb, we can find 8,000 statues, but they all have unique carvings on their face, as if to suggest these are all custom statues representing real people. The emperor believed that after he had passed, he would have the spirits of his enemies face him again, so he wanted to be prepared, even after death. The emperor decided to close the tomb before the workers even had a chance to get out. Yeah, horrible history right there. He was worried his enemies had found out, so there's lots of statues and dark history just locked up down there. I didn't want to go down there and see that one. I mean, as a find, as a whole, that's an amazing discovery. That many statues? Then when you start thinking of the history, you're like, ah, it's horrible, it's horribly sad. Number five, gateway to another realm. Okay, time to get a little wild for number five. Over in Ireland, there's a tomb built by Egyptians. It's called Nugrange. It's as old as the pyramids. So the belief is that Egyptians 
also built this. It was first discovered back in the late 1700s. It's been closed ever since though. That's the only mysterious thing here. It's a mystery who or what is inside it, but the folklore surrounding the tomb is too good not to include on this list. Locals believe that the tomb is a gateway to another realm and that it was built by goblins. Yeah, gateway to another realm built by goblins. I'll give you a second to take that in. If and when this tomb is open, it's believed goblins might come rushing out. Who knows? Evil goblins, that is also, gotta say. Um, I hope that doesn't happen. Maybe it's Alexander the Great. Maybe they buried him and possibly out of the way. Or maybe it's full of goblins. Who knows? I don't know. I certainly couldn't tell you. Number four, coral. Not every day you find a tomb with a conch shell. Yeah, here we go. What in the Freddy fish is going on? It all began back in 2011 when archaeologists were excavating a site in Peru. They discovered the tomb of a priestess, and in total, there were actually nine bodies. Because back then, you had to go out with a crew. You had like an OG posse whenever you passed the gates of the pearly whites. That would suck. That would suck being part of the entourage that had to go as well. Pretty amazing find right off the bat, but two years later, when a team returned to the same site to see if there was anything else the previous team had missed, Right below that tomb was another tomb. Inception, but skeletons. This chamber had been designed to flood. Yeah, it was from the ancient water cults. Yeah, they were known as the Lembayaku people. The ancient water cult tombs from 800 years ago. This feels like Legend of Zelda. This is awesome. This is epic. Inside these tombs were the remains of four people, one of which was decked out in pearls, shells, the deep sea combo. So whoever was lying here was, again, pretty important. Number three. 86 tortoises. Okay, somebody called Mario. We got some shells that we need to explain. Back in 2005 in northern Israel, a tomb of a shaman, who we believe was a 45-year-old woman at the time of her passing, was found in a cave. A cave, not a bad tomb. It's a pretty, pretty massive tomb, if I could say that. Hilazan Taktit Cave. There were 28 other skeletons found in there as well. This was a cave tomb. Pretty beautiful stuff. She had a six-stage burial. There were beautiful decorations, but something that really stood out were the 86 tortoise bodies. Yeah, there was a feast, apparently. Many moons ago, there was one hell of a party in that cave for that woman, so whoever she was must have been pretty important. Number two, 210 sarcophagi. Yeah, we thought it was a big deal back when 160 bodies were discovered in Egypt back in September 2020. Found a bunch of mummies. But in January 2021, we found even more. Yeah, more mummies than we thought. But wait, there's more mummies, that is. <laughs> we probably would have seen it on the news, but that was the same time when, you know, 768 people were storming the capital. So, thanks. All the attention was a little over there. These sealed coffins were untouched for over 2,500 years. They went from finding 160 past September to finding 210 in total. So, that means there's probably more. According to the ministry, the sarcophagi were completely closed and haven't been opened since they were buried. But they opened a few just to analyze and display them. But that's it, just a few out of the 210. And finally, number one, King Tut's dagger. Only a few years after King Tut's tomb was discovered in the Valley of the Kings, archeologist Howard Carter found a dagger that was buried with the king as well. Howard Carter found a dagger buried with the king. Now, it's not uncommon to be buried with your belongings. That's why these tombs were built in certain ways. You know, so grave robbers don't come snooping around. You can't just Nicholas Cage your way into a pyramid and then steal the most fancy thing you find. That's not how it works anymore. You would get trapped. You can't just steal King Tut's dagger, or anything for that matter. This one dagger, though, is quite the mystery. With recent advancements in technology, we were able to use a technique called portable X-ray fluorescent spectrometry, and according to the Journal of Meteorites and Planetary Science, King Tut's dagger is actually made of iron, nickel, and cobalt, suggesting this material at the time probably came from a meteorite. Yeah, when people say the pyramids were built by aliens, we often laugh, but evidence like this just fuels that fire. Yeah, spoiler alert, every rock came from space. I don't know how to tell you this. It's not an alien. An alien didn't huck a dagger into the sands of Egypt. This isn't Transformers 2, okay? Guys, those are the top 10 unspeakable things found in Ancient Tombs Part 2. If you want a Part 3, let us know. Me and Olivia will both do the Part 3. How about that? Sound off below if you want it. Peace. This one is the only one in Poland. I don't know why I pointed it back, but there's a green screen. There isn't. There's definitely not.